Welcome to the account solutions. This is one of our video tutorials on how to use our template, and I'll be showing you how to keep a simple um, report for a department in the church or ministry. It would be so nice if your pastor or leader comes to you and asks you for report of how you received money and spent money for the past one or two months. You're going to find um, your reports scattered in different Excel files or books. It would be nice to just have um, a template that will enable you to just issue the report with a click of a button. With these templates, you'll be able to um, record all the offerings and donations that come into your department and record all expenses that you incur in your department. At the end of the period, month or week, I'm going to give a report of um, what you received and what you spent. So when you put the template, you will just see a user form will pop up, user login panel, just start login, login as an administrator. Now once you log in, you come to your user interface page. This is a very uh, important page where you do most of the, most of the entries. Now I'll just take you through the structure of the workbook for you to understand how it works. First of all, we have um, a navigation button here that will take you to the different worksheets in this workbook. You can uh, just double click them and you are there. Now once you do that, first thing to do is to go to your setup and set up your department name. This is follow up department location. Ignore this current user and the date that automatically to populate to a formula. Now select the church here from this drop down um, box here. You can set up more church here as you progress. Just type in and to populate into this drop box. Now you can also add the department you want to interface with into this um, table. Once you are done, you can go back to your interface. Now, apart from this navigation panel here, you can also navigate through these blue tabs on top of this worksheet. Just click on them and it takes you straight to the various worksheets that you want to work on. Alright, so now we'll come back to user interface. First of all, you need to set up your users. Those will be using this inter um, template and assign a password to them. Just click on new user. They just type a name. Let's say define. I'm just typing um, the department, if any, typing the address, city, phone, email address, and then you say post. The next thing to do is to go to your uh, login sheet and set up a password for whoever using this template. So let's go to our uh, navigation panel. We we'll go to sheet user. Come here and you select um, if I find password. Let's say 5784 ABC. That's the password for this user. And you go back to your user interface. All right. So with that. They can log, you can assign password to anybody that is using this, this template, and they can log in and use the template. Now, what you need to do again is to set up your account chart. I already have some account chart set up in this um, template, which you can use for your transactions in any department in the church ministry. We want to add more um, of an of account heads in this um, template. Just come here and select this. Um, click on this box, and this will appear for you. Now you must understand this, in accounting, what we mean by account heads are basically areas where you receive money and you spend money. What it means is that when you receive an inflow, let's say from church offering, donations, pledges and the rest of them, you need to account for that inflow in a particular center. So you can have various centers accounting for various inflows, you want to account for donations and inflows from our members or partners, our account for it under donation income. We want to account for workers' contribution um, from our members in the department, our account for it through workers' contribution income. We want to account for a, a local church support given to the department, I will go towards local church support income and our account for it. Now, what it means is that in the same way for expenses, I made expenses for transport, for follow up. For buying awards and gift cards, you need to account for such expenses in those various heads. So we'll call them account heads. And in this template, you'll be using the simple uh, or let's say basic accounting principles of double entry, which says for every debit entry, there must be a corresponding credit entry of the same value. Now, the same value means 
if for example you spent five thousand naira for transport now we have two account heads that will be involved here we have transport we have cash because cash was taken from the off from the um, account and spent on transport so we have two account heads one will be a debit one will be a credit which one is a, is a debit in accounting principles of double entry we say debit the receiver and credit the giver so in this case who is receiving transport account head is receiving 5000 naira from cash account head so cash is depleting while transport is what increasing that is the basic principle of double entry debit the receiver and credit the giver so with this in our mind we will now go ahead and start entering the transactions mind you, you need to understand this same principle who is giving and who is receiving when i say who i mean the account heads income expenses transport and the rest of them somebody i call them somebody's because they actually personal account heads so somebody is receiving and somebody actually spent and um, giving out value value is the amount of money for that transaction so let's go ahead and start recording let's assume um we have donations or let's have worker contributions on a sunday morning after a meeting in the department and it was five thousand naira we will introduce to come here and type in the date the date is 20th of september 2017 you see being offering from members then select the church here here can you select church here select church 2017 now offering has is giving the value of 5000 naira to cash because the offering are receiving cash so we'll come here select debit amount a debit account which is cash we have cash here then remember for every debit entry there must be what a corresponding credit entry so now cash is receiving value to debit with 5000 naira now with that if you say post tell you a journal is out of balance it's 5000 naira negative and um, um, red here and it's saying no balance so you need to balance this journal by putting what a corresponding credit entry you go to workers contribution income and type in 5000 naira with that you are good to go just say post it asks you to be very sure if this is very correct if you're not sure you just say no if you are sure just post and say yes it's posted now let's go ahead and populate other transactions and i will also explain how they work okay i have these um transactions here let's let's assume it was on the um 30th of august 2017 um i lodged in money let's change it to 30th of september I lodged in money to the bank so I have debit bank credit cash what it means that bank is receiving 2000 naira from cash so cash is dropping in value and bank is increasing in value now I spent 500 naira on transport costs going to the bank on that same day so transport is receiving value of 500 naira from cash debit transport and credit cash okay I have a new account I am GTB bank so I lodged in 2000 naira to that bank from um, local church support. I received a support from my local church for the department of 20,000 naira. So debit the receiver, which is bank, and credit the giver, which is local church support income. Now I also spent money for member support expenses of 1,000 naira through bank. So I'll debit the receiver, which is member support expenses, and I'll credit the bank, which is um, 1,000 naira. I also receive a donation from a family for 50,000 naira by way of cash. I will debit my receiver, which is cash, and I will credit my giver, which is what donation income. I also spent 25 for awards at the end of the um, month. So I will debit award, which is receiving, and I will credit GTB, which is what giving. Now, you need to also understand in accounting, we see debit expenses and assets credit liabilities and revenue as one of the principles to understand also in accounting for the overall principle is debit the receiver and credit the giver with this i just say being various transactions in the month 
and it will be good to post them um, based on the transaction so you can have a narratives that will explain such transactions say post okay so once you just go to your dashboard and see how the report and the now once you refresh you will see um your balances will appear here we have this table this table shows the bank um, the fund balances bank we have debit of 2000 and 1000 credits balance is 1000 we have cash 55000 debit to 5 credits and this is the balance we have VTB at the end you have a balance of 1000 in your um, cash and bank balances the next table is your receipt for the account um, for the church year we have donation income we have local donation income we have local church support income so our total income for that church year is 75000 we also have our payments table where we have awards, member support expenses, and transport costs. That is 4,000. If you check this uh, support, this we get 71,000. Um, now, now we have another table here which shows you month by month expenses. Just click on these filters and you will see we have awards. We have bank, we have cash, these are all um, the various balances about the that um, month. You can choose any month with these filters. Click on this balance 17 only. Click on this to filter back. Click on this, this is just for this month. You just can have um, as many months as possible as your entire transaction. Now let's get back to something I need to show you. Let's go to workers meeting. That's when we had a meeting. Um, on Sunday for the department, just come here and type in the date. Let's say it is 29th of September 2017. Now, are they ministers or workers? The ministers, let's say there were just 20 of them. You see, post. Then, if you have another meeting again, we have workers. We have for this particular date. Let's enter more date. Let's assume um, on the first of October 2017. We have ministers. Here are 25 on that day, and we have on the same day, first of October 2017. We have workers, and they we are. 58 on that day post so our data we're going to populate we have all this data on our worksheet and you get back to your dashboard and you refresh once you refresh you can see we have workers 108 ministers 45 but we want to have a particular we want to check a particular date of this meeting so just filter then you come here and select the date and you see on the first of october i have workers 58 ministers 25 on the check on the 9th of september workers 50 ministers 20 2017 so this is how the workers meeting attendance uh, report will work okay now let me show you another thing you want to see before we end this tutorial put your monthly report this report just shows you month by month report on your expenses and your income. Back to dashboard, go to table reports. And we have this report here. Just refresh. We have workers income 5,000, local church support income 20,000, donation income 50,000. We also have the same thing for expenses. Okay, go to your income statement. You can see. We have um, a table here showing you your income statement. We have donation income, workers pension income, capture support income, and total income to 5,000 naira. We also have your S your cost, which is 4,000 naira. At the end, you have your excess of income over expenditure of 71,000 naira. Now go to your balance sheet. Same thing will happen here. You have the retained earnings of 71,000 naira. You have assets 
without have any ability yet. Noted forms is distributing endings of 21,000 naira and refreshes data to populate uh, the new entries you've made. Now, with this, uh, these are just basic things you need to understand about this uh, template. Once you receive any inflow, you just need to what, record it. And once you spend any money, you just have to what, record it. Also, check for used account codes. Yeah, just click on this icon and you'll see um, all your account um, heads and account codes you use. If you want to enter any one, just make sure you check the, um, the classifications. For income, I have one. For expenses, I have two. For assets, I have three. Liability should be four. If you want to enter a new expense account, just check the last one, which is transport cost 2110. Now use the next number 2111 for the next expense item. That's the basic thing you need to understand. Very nature, let me give you template. Just go to our support page on our website and just um, type in your um, issues and queries on the on the form that is there, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys, this is where we'll call it a day. All right, thank you so much for seeing this video. Um, we hope the video was useful to you. Um, to get hold of this template. You may have to go to our website and click on our customize page where you can make a request for this template because this particular template is not yet on our free template um, page. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and be among the first to get our new video tutorials. If you're interested in our articles, you can also go to our website and subscribe to our blog and also be among those that will get the articles to your email box. Thank you and God bless.